In this video, I'm reviewing the Eargasm High Fidelity Filtered Earplugs. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Maximum amounts of hearing protection are awesome and highly advised if you find yourself in noisy situations, particularly if you want to prevent against hearing loss and tinnitus. But sometimes using foam hearing protectors and earmuffs provide way too much attenuation, particularly if you're trying to appreciate the sound of music and if you're trying to have conversations with friends in a noisy environment. In these particular cases, using a filtered earplug may make more sense. That's why I decided to check out the Eargasm High Fidelity Filtered Earplugs for this video review. Eargasm is a company that uses its name, that is an obviously clever play on words, to market its flat attenuation hearing protectors. You may have seen them on Facebook where they do a ton of advertising. They have a variety of different earplug options from their high fidelity earplugs to their gay pride edition to a smaller version of their high fidelity earplugs and even a transparent version of their earplugs that use a clear filter instead of their signature blue filter. Each have a noise reduction rating or NRR of 16 when worn properly. The higher the NRR rating, the more they attenuate or reduce sound, and the more hearing protection they provide. Unlike earmuffs and foam hearing protectors that provide an NRR value between 24 and 31, filtered earplugs provide an even level of attenuation to keep things sounding natural, just not as loud. Imagine that you're listening to music inside of your car. Now most car radios have the ability to adjust the treble and the bass. Now imagine that you actually turn the treble all the way down and leave the bass up. This is going to provide you with a very unnatural experience when listening to music. Well this is essentially what you're doing when you're using a set of foam earplugs or earmuffs. It doesn't attenuate all of the sound evenly. It takes down the high frequencies more than it takes down the low frequencies. But when you use a filtered earplug, what it does is it attenuates all of the different frequencies as evenly as possible so the sound of the music is just lower but you get the same amount of fidelity. This is the attenuation profile of the Eargasm filtered earplugs. You can see that these filtered plugs reduce volume between 25 and 35 decibels at each frequency tested from 125 hertz up to 8000 hertz. Now they don't indicate if this scale is in dB SPL or dB HL, which would indicate sound pressure level versus hearing level, but clearly it would have to be in dB HL, otherwise it would not provide perceived flat level of attenuation. Filtered earplugs also allow you to understand conversational speech better when you're in a noisy environment. The last time that I went to Nashville, and anyone who's been to Nashville knows that any time that you go out, there's going to be a live band performing wherever you go. And when I was in those particular environments, I could still understand the conversation of my friends while the band was playing their music extremely loud. If I were to take the plugs out of my ears, it was more difficult for me to understand my friends, and things were just way too loud. I also wore Eargasm earplugs when I went to my friend's wedding on New Year's Eve. It was an insanely loud wedding, a bunch of music that was being played constantly through dinner and through the reception. It was a terrific time, but if I didn't have my filtered earplugs in, I would have definitely left that particular venue with ringing in my ears and a reduced perception of hearing sensitivity. But because I was wearing the Eargasm filtered earplugs, I could hear everything that was being said to me. I could have really high quality conversation, but I didn't leave feeling like I had a hearing loss. Now their website has a really cool feature that allows you to simulate the difference that their earplugs make. As I switch between no earplugs, Eargasm filtered earplugs, and standard foam earplugs, you can clearly hear the differences. Let me play a few sound samples, first at a concert, then at a restaurant.
Really? Mm-hmm. We didn't have that. So, one. well, that was when we were younger. Okay. And then at older, um, it's less typical to give people Valentines unless you are in a romantic relationship. Or. Yeah. yeah. Um, Now, if you ask me, I think that those sound samples provide a really clear understanding of what it's like to use a filtered earplug versus using a foam earplugs or no earplugs at all. That being said, I feel like that is representative of what my experience has been when using these plugs. The Eargasm plugs are reasonably comfortable and they do a good job of attenuating sound even in loud environments, assuming you get them in your ears correctly. Which leads me to the first thing that I am not crazy about when it comes to the Eargasm filtered earplugs, and that is is that they are huge. They are way too big for the standard ear canal. Now, I have a larger than normal ear canal, and I could not use the regular size Eargasm filtered earplugs. Fortunately, they actually have a smaller size of these as well, which actually fit my ears much better. Now, let me show you the difference in sizes between these two. So the one in my right hand with the little blue filter in it still is the regular size one. And in my left hand is the smaller size. The smaller size fits my ear much better. Now I'm gonna show you what they look like when you put them in. So I'm gonna try to put the right one in as far as I can, the regular size one. So that's about as far as I can get it inside of my ear. And then I'm gonna put the smaller one inside of my left ear so I can actually show you a comparison of what it looks like and what it should look like. So, my right ear, this is the regular size Eargasm filtered plug, and on my other ear, this is the smaller version of it. And this is correct, this is incorrect. If this is how it fits inside of your ear, it is way too big and it is not going to be attenuating the right amount of sound and you are still at risk for damaging your hearing. If it goes into your ear like this, then you know that you have a good fit. You can clearly see this is an issue even for the models that they have on their homepage. Now I do understand that when properly inserted, you can't really see them, but if this is how these earplugs look inside of your ear canal, you have way too large of an earplug and it will not provide you with the advertised level of hearing protection. The second thing that I'm not crazy about is that there's only one level of attenuation when you use the Eargasm filtered earplugs. There are other companies out there that provide you with a varying level of flat attenuation, anything from 16 decibels of flat attenuation to 20 or even 25 decibels of flat attenuation. So depending on the environment that you find yourself in and the amount of protection that you need in that environment, you can pick out the correct level of attenuation. You can't do that with the Eargasm filtered plugs. That being said, as long as you can wear the Eargasm High Fidelity Filtered Earplugs correctly, you should be able to protect against hearing loss and tinnitus while still being able to appreciate music and talk to your friends. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.